Hello students, welcome to the online session. This is the session for class 8, HTML codes. So we are going to start chapter number 4, images and list in HTML. We will cover these topics here, recapitulation of the basic HTML and inserting images. Two topics we will cover here. That is recapitulation of the basic HTML and insert. So, first of all, we will see HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. This is a language of web page. As we write, we use English language to write the books same way. HTML is a language which is used to write web pages. Web pages are the text file. Actually, we are writing the web pages. They are the text files. And here in HTML, hypertext marker language, the hypertext stands for hyperlinks. Hyperlinks which allow you to jump from one topic to another. Clear? Students, HTML describes the content and the format. Listen, HTML describes the content and the format of the web page using some of the commands, or you can say the keywords, and these commands and keywords are known as tags. These commands or keywords of HTML are known as tags and display the content accordingly. HTML display the tag you know, content accordingly as it is written. Now, the types of tags in HTML. There are two types of tags. The first one is container tag. First one is container tag. Container tags are those tags which have opening as well as closing tags, which have opening as well as closing tags. And these tags names, how you can close this? You can close these tag name by proceeding with a slash. Few example of HTML container tags are HTML and then you can see slash HTML head and then slash head and P and then slash P. They all are container because they are having opening as well as closing tags. Now you can see another type of tag is next type of tag is that is empty tag. Next type of tag is that is empty tag and few of the empty tag are here. Empty tag are having only the opening tags. They are not having the closing ones. They're having the, only the opening tags. And few of the empty tags are here. Few example of the empty tags are here as it is present BR, HR and ING. These all are empty tags and you will study few more empty tags in the chapter. Now, what is the syntax structure? How you're using these tags? If you're using any tag, then you have to write the tag name, its attribute in case of container, and then whatever the content you want to display. And after that, slash tag name means you want to close it because it is a container tag. One of the example is present here as P tag, P for paragraph. Paragraph, and you want to align the paragraph, then you can use the value for the align as left, which is default or in the center or in the at the right okay so you can use any one of the align value that is left center and right by default if you are not using align attribute in that case it will align the paragraph to the left hand side okay because it is a container tag so i have closed it as slash p clear so dear students next topic is Empty tag. What is the syntax, the syntax structure of empty tag? So the syntax structure of the empty tag is the tag name and attribute. You can see only the tag name and after that the attribute and its value. So example, one of the example I have taken here, that is one of the example I have taken here, that is uh, HR. That is HR tag. So HR tag and I have used two of its attribute width and align. Now, this is HTML document structure. 
the program, the HTML program, the HTML document which you will write, it is having a specific structure, a proper structure, and that structure is what the complete HTML document body must be enclosed within the HTML. At the top, it will be the HTML. At the bottom, it will be the slash HTML. So complete body should be encapsulated within HTML and slash HTML. After that, dear students, we will define the head portion. Head portion means whatever the content you want to display on the title bar of the web browser window when you execute it, then the head tag is used for that purpose. Here, the head tag is being used and under this head tag, I have used the title tag and under the title, I have specified HTML demo. Means this particular text, HTML demo, will be displayed at the title bar of the web browser window. And you have closed it with the slash title and after that, head. Then the content you want to display on the web page, that will be defined, that will be specified, that will be given under the body tag, between the body and slash body. So whatever the content you want to display, whether it is a text or an image or anything else, audio, video, whatever, that will be given within the body and slash body. And complete program should be enclosed within the HTML tag. As I have written at the bottom, the whole body of the HTML web page should be enclosed within HTML and slash HTML tag. So dear students, the here, few guidelines to create and execute an HTML document. So first of the guideline is, first point is, write the code in any text editor. So for writing the HTML code, you can use any one of the text editor. So most easily available, that is the notepad. You can use notepad to write the HTML code. And now it is very important. Yes, this is second point. It is very important point that when, as you are creating the program in a notepad, so notepad save the file, notepad save the file with the txt extension, but HTML file must be saved. HTML file must be saved with the HTM or HTML extension as it is written in the second point. It should be saved with the HTM or HTML extension. And as you saved it, then you can execute with any of the web browser. You can execute this program with any Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or anyone. You can run it online or offline. There is no need to be connected to the internet while you are using HTML, you are practicing this one. Basic HTML text, here few texts which you have already studied in your seventh standard, but this is the recapitulation uh, session. So we will discuss all these tags and we'll use in our program also. The body tag, this tag includes all the text that describe the content and the web page. This is the syntax. Now, P tag, this is, this is used to specify the beginning as well as end of the paragraph and how a black line is inserted before and after of the paragraph. So, just execute it. This is a container tag. Next one is font. Font is used to change the appearance, the look of the web page. And as you are changing the appearance and the look of the web page, so you, with the help of this tag, you can change the font name, you can change the color, text color, and you can change the size of the text with the help of the font tag. So there are few attributes. To change the font name, you can use face. And to change the color, you can use color attribute. And to change the size, you can use size attribute. All three attributes are present here. Now the next one is HR tag. HR tag is a is an empty tag. It's an empty tag and it's used to insert a horizontal line across the web page. And it's having these attributes, size, color, align, width, and no shade. You have already studied, but we will use all these in our programs. Okay. Now the last one here last uh, command which you have studied previously that is heading text 
and heading text HTML supports six level of headings. These are from H1 to H6. And you can use H1 and one of the attribute is present with it, align to align the heading, whether you want to display the heading on the left or the center or the right, align attribute. And finally, you have to close it with slash H1. And same way you can use H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. So HTML provide you six level of the headings. Clear, Macho? Clear, students? Now, this is the new tag which we are going to study in our eighth standard. And this tag is IMG, IMG tag. IMG tag is used to insert an image in the web page. Speciality of this tag, this is an empty tag. This is an empty tag. So wherever you will use, you are not required to close it. You are not required to close it. And the syntax of this image, this particular tag is IMG. And you can see the attributes. The first attribute is SRC. We will see what are the use of these attributes. Second is align, height, width, border, and alt. Now see what is the use of SRC attribute. The use of SRC attribute is, it is used to specify the URL or the path or the name of the image. If you want to specify the URL or the path or the name of the image, then you can use SRC attribute. Align is used to align the image. Alignment can be of two, in two ways. The first is horizontal element alignment of the image. You can align the image with respect to the margin, either to the left side or to the right side. Another alignment is what? You can align the image with respect to the inline text. Inline text means the text which is written just after the, just after the image, ing tag. That, is, that will be considered as inline text. So with respect to the inline text, the image can be, uh, the text can be aligned as top, middle, or bottom, okay? Now, height and width, they are used to specify the size. They are used to control the size of the image. And the value of the height and width can be specified in form of pixels only. So measurement unit use here, pixels. Now the next one is, the last one, border attribute. And this particular attribute is used to specify the width of a border around an image. As you're seeing in my frame, which is present here, in my frame, it is a border around it. Same way, if you want to display a border around the picture, then you can use border attribute. The value can be specified in form of pixels. Now see students, one example is present here. This is the source code present over here. I have written the source code here. You can see this is the program which I have written. Okay. And this program I have executed and this is the output. This is the output. Is it okay? Now uh, you have seen both the things, how the programs, uh, you can write the program and various commands. Yes, students. This is the same program here in the notepad. I have shown you this is the same program in the notepad. I'm going to save it. Look these steps carefully. I'm going to save it. Then save as. This is save as dialog box is open. And I'm going to save this program as demo image. Demo image. And the condition is what? You have to save with the HTML extension. So we'll put demo image dot HTM or HTML, any one of them. And you will select save. I have saved this file. And now I want to execute. I want to execute. So how can I execute it? I can execute it by selecting the name of the image. See, this is present where I have saved demo image you can see and now i'm going to execute this particular file so i'm clicking on it this is the result in front of you yes okay this is the result which i have written previously the same program i've shown you in the presentation Okay, clear? 
now this is the file see this is the heading which i have aligned in the center this is the hr in the center of the web page this file is lotus file this is the related quote over here the border around it i have controlled the size with 100 pixels height and 100 pixel width here I, the sunflower image is not present why it is not present i have shown you the demonstration of the alt attribute alt attribute what will it do alt attribute will display see alt attribute will display i have written it over here ha huh? alt attribute will display the text if the image does not found if the image does not found only when it will display the text which is written with the alt attribute this is very important this is very important attribute with the help of this text we can identify what the text will be what the text to be display if the image does not found clear so this is the final one thank you for watching it thanks for attending the class okay thank you